Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we're back with Dragon Age Origins and we are right at the start of the battle at the castle of Redcliffe. I ended the previous video as soon as we got done defending the village itself from all of the stuff that was coming out from the castle. So right now we get to find out who survived, who died, if we can, and then uh, figure out, hopefully, what is actually happening in the castle itself. So let's get into it. And here we are. I did not want to control wind, though, and I did level up. So first things first, let's take care of that. And after that, we get to explore the village all over again. <laughs> I finally get to pick up improved herbalism, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And yay! I am actually level 12. That's awesome. Even though I was aiming to get frozen weapon for myself, but this is a much better opportunity. Alright, anyway, let's go see what we actually have around here. Murdoch is alive. Thomas is there. That's a good start. Um, let's talk to Thomas first. So we won the battle? If this is what war is like, with so many people hurt and dying, I don't want to think about what fighting the Darkspawn will be like. Van Tegan or Al Eamon will be calling for volunteers soon, won't they? They'll need an army to fight in the south now. I'll go when they... Call me, I guess. I'm going to... get drunk first, though. If you'll excuse me. That seems like a perfectly human reaction, not gonna lie. Alright, there's Thomas. Do we have anyone... in Caitlin's home? I need to return the sword to... them. No one hiding in the... in the wardrobe. I thought I saw something. No, never mind. Okay. Let's see, what else we got? Can I just look at the map to see... Unless, well, I guess if they are in their... house, I probably wouldn't know if they're alive or not. Wait, who's this? Who are you? Oh, yeah! Hello! Good to see you again. What is this for? This collective is only successful at the pleasure of the Templars. Their continued devotion to our safety requires certain concessions on our part. In the interest of renewing our relationship with these fine and generous agents of the Maker, we ask that willing man or woman of character grace our good friends with the gift of lyrium. Procure ten lyrium potions and offer them to Knight Commander Harith in Redcliffe. Oof. Um. Don't think I have that many, if any. But I guess we can try. In times such as these, one must suspect even his neighbor of the darkest dealings, lest they can... <laughs> lest they cast a shadow upon those who labor under the light. I, Jubasto, have heard tell of a cabal of Maleficarum performing rituals in the dark near my sanctum, and I certainly wish to see them brought to justice for their dark deeds. I hesitate, however, to accuse them of foul sorcery without fully understanding of the trappings, ritual and appearance the dark magic requires. What? The writings of the hated Maleficarum Benistor should be suitable. Should a courier be available to procure me copies of the scrolls of Banistor, I would be appropriately grateful. Are you serious? That's an interesting way to um, get those scrolls yourself, isn't it? What happens if I accept this? Should I? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. 
Okay, well, I was on the way somewhere, wasn't I? The general store. Maybe some someone is going to be there now? No, but... Ah. Liliana can't open it yet. Right. I do remember that part. Okay. Well... Let's check out on our lovely dwarf. Okay. Are you alive? Oh, you are alive. Okay. Well, that's good. What do you say? Actually, I'm gonna save before I talk to you. Phew. Some fight. Reminds me why I left Orzammar in the first place. Thank you for helping with the battle. Hey, anything for Redcliffe, right? Whatever. First thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep. For about a week. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero. Or something. What is your deal? Go celebrate or whatever you have to do. <sighs> I could use your help with the Darkspawn. If I wanted to fight Darkspawn, I'd have stayed in Orzammar. No thanks. I didn't think so. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero, or something. He's just gonna repeat whatever he's saying. I wanted to know... why he left Orzammar. Rebuild. Same thing I intended to do before. Except this time, there's more humans left alive to help. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, yeah, nice to see you too. Go celebrate or whatever it is you're gonna do. You won, right? You're a hero, or something. You're not very helpful, are you? Not at all. I swear to god, this thing looks like it should be... Um, interactable, but it's not. And that makes me suspicious. Alright, Winnie. Okay, what else we have here? I think that's it on here, right? got Dwin, we got General Store, and this. Um, let's go to the Chantry. Or actually, let's go talk to Murdoch. I'm still amazed we made it through the night in one piece and one. They'll be telling stories about this for years, I bet. Fighting's not over. We still have Darkspawn to battle, and if the Arl sends out the call, I'll be there for him. That's a commendable attitude. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll offer the Maker a bit of thanks for not choosing to be a wrathful god today. Good luck to you. The not end is upon us! The dead rise and foul magic spreads across the land! Lovely. None of them are very talkative, which I guess I can't blame them for. So, you're female, Liliana, right? I am? That's news. When did that happen? I just wanted some advice. What should I do if... If I think a woman is special and... You want to woo her? Here's a good tip. You shouldn't question her about her femaleness. All right, yes, good point. Why do you ask? Are you afraid things will not proceed naturally? Why would they? Especially when I do things like ask women if they're female. It adds to your charm, Alistair. You're a little... awkward. It is endearing. So I should be awkward? Didn't you just say not to do things like that? Just be yourself. You do know how to do that, don't you? All right. Forget I asked. Oh. Poor guy. <laughs> He's trying. He is trying. All right. I don't really see anything here. Um, okay, we can go to the smithy, and then to the chantry. Horror awaits oh, those who yeah. perish outside of the Maker's forgiveness! We cannot win, we can't- Doomsayer. Did you- you survived, okay, that's good. Good to see you in one piece. D do you have news of Elena yet? Not yet. Well... I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. 
Remember, a promise is a promise. I remember. Let's talk business. Oh yeah, you can right. sell me stuff. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. Well, I'll be with you guys in a second. All right, we're good. I sold some stuff and I am quite happy about it. Can I still go in here? I wonder. And so I shall. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? No, not yet. Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Yes. Find my Valena. That's all I want. Okay, I guess I can't go in here. All right. As you desire. Come on, ladies and gents. All right, now it's time the for the chantry. Punishing mankind for its sin. Or for this. <laughs> So many distractions, it's amazing. Sister Giselle. Unfortunate news has arrived that the Darkspawn has extended their incursion onto areas previously thought safe for travel. A runner from a border caravan brings word that they unknowingly passed into infested territory and were being attacked by several unseen creatures. He was dispatched to seek help and does not know the fate of his fellows or the viability of the trade route. Travelers in the area are urged to be cautious and with the ability to rescue or determine any with the ability to rescue or determine the status of the troubled group will be rewarded. But it doesn't say where the caravan is. Just previously saved territory. Uh, Sister Rana posts on behalf of her neighbors. The Darkspawn incursions in the south have made it for difficult communication, even though even through official means. The relatives of the conscripts and company East Hill have beseeched me to deliver word of their brothers and sons. I have no means to do so, but can point a traveler of stout heart in the proper direction of their recent engagement. To any who are able to find their loved ones, I offer what little, little silver they have been able to entrust to the board, as well as the sincerest gr gratitude of the Chantry. I cannot read today for some reason. I don't know why. But we will definitely investigate this. Skin Deep. A runner sends this request from Knight Commander Thames. While the reports I have heard no doubt suffer from exaggeration, the observed creatures assaulting Redcliffe trouble me greatly. If we are to properly combat these unnatural agents and prevent their reoccurrence, the mages bound to my service will require carefully prepared samples of flesh for study. Thereafter, should a deployment occur, we will be well briefed. If there are skilled warriors present, I would have them gather samples from any remaining creatures as close to the presumed source as possible. The Chantry will reward this basic assistance with spiritual acknowledgement. <laughs> if the request is exceeded, gold will be added, but the offer is limited. Ah, okay, so this is about some of the gross stuff that I've been picking up off of them, right? The Spirit Haven. Sister Rana has heard reports of an imminent tragedy. A runner has brought me dire news of a group of refugees fleeing from the Darkspawn. They have been cornered in unfamiliar ground, fighting for their lives. The Templars are necessarily occupied, and my own means are few and stretched. If someone of skill has the ability to deliver these people, I can only offer the honest gratitude of myself and the Chantry. Hopefully that will be enough for the rare person we need. Okay. No rewards, but that's okay. I guess we're not in for, for the money. All right. Let's see. Blackstone's a regular. Scraping the barrel. Um. Thernal Garrison and Redcliffe. We found the guy. We found this one in Lothering. And I haven't been there yet. Okay. Justice must be served. I do have 10 Lyrium potions. I did see that as I was selling uh, all of the extra stuff to the guy. So that's good. 
Knight Commander Harith on behalf of the Mages Collective. Okay. You are asked to deliver 10 Lyrium potions to Knight Commander Harith on behalf of the Mages Collective. If Mages giving questionable gifts to Templars doesn't seem right, you can go to Knight Commander Tavish in Denerim to testify about the bribe with the Lyrium potions as evidence. I see. Okay. I guess I did not read it closely enough, did I? Hello. I am definitely siding with the mages, so I don't know. I don't know if it's worth for me to try to rat on them. <laughs> Travel to the trade route marked. Ah. Skin deep. Return 18 at once to receive additional payment. Nine samples of corpse gall. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right. How much do I already have? That'd be here? West? Plot items? <laughs> corpse gall. Five. Aw, oh, man. And have two scrolls of Benistor. All right. Now we know. Oh, his rose is in here. Oh, man. That's cute. Hello. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. Indeed. Brace the wheels. My friend, I have a task that requires some tact and discretion. And I think you're perfect for the job. The Blackstone Irregulars cannot survive without the patronage of nobles, mages, and other groups who retain our services. For that work to continue, however, we have to... Oh. We have ensured that people are looking out for our interests. To that end, I ask you to make a trip to Denerim and pass on our appreciation to certain individuals. Return when you are done, and I'll see that you are rewarded. Your friend, Taron. Okay, I will eventually go to dinner, and so that tracks for me. Okay, now, who wants to talk to me this time? Oh, Caitlin, I did talk to you, didn't I? Not after the battle, because I owe you the sword. All right. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive, and it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone... I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. You look of age. Aren't you? Why do you have to go to an orphanage? With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. Perhaps I could help you to go to Denerim. Interesting. I... Uh, okay? Oh! Your path is probably much too dangerous for us. There are wagons going there, but it would be expensive. Could you sell your sword? Oh, I can give you money. Would 50 silver be enough? <laughs> Am I too stingy? Let's see. That... It won't be enough, but it will help a great deal. Thank you very much for your kindness. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. Wait, you don't want your sword? I wanted to give you your sword. Where did you go? Jesus. Can I catch her? Hello? No? God damn it. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good sword. It's just a bummer. Uh, Irenia. Good day. Okay. Nothing for me. These are terrible times. Just terrible. I agree. Alright, so we got Mother Hannah and just a single child with no one else. Uh, Murdoch. What you up to? Good to see you again, miss. Is everything all right? So far. I'll be fighting Darkspawn soon enough. 
I don't look forward to it. With the Maker's luck, I'll live through it all to tell my grandchildren a tale or two. Here's to hoping you can do the same. I don't know. I don't know how this all is going to play out. There are many gone who we must honor. But we must also remember those who aided us in our darkest hour. Okay. I might need to refer to the previous quest log to see who else I need to be looking out for. I know I can still go to the tavern, so let's head over there. What? How do you get up there? Oh, hilariously, all I needed to do was go under this shack here and just circle around, and I went all the way up, thinking that maybe I need to somehow get down from the roof, even though the game doesn't usually let me drop off ledges. I thought maybe this was a path. <laughs> and no, it was way easier than that. Good job. Of course. Allow me. I could do that for you. Hopefully. Yes, you can. Nice. Battle axe. Ooh. Hey. A two-hander. Maybe I can give it to Sten. Speaking of which, I should go to the camp. Um, let's talk to everyone else that we can, and then head over to the camp. And then... Go and check out the castle. That sound good? Alright, who do we got here? Ooh. I'm guessing that the elven spy did not make it. Oh, I never saw this. What is this? Graffiti? Don't eat the cheese! <laughs> Brilliant. Militiamen. We've won, but I hear the dock spawn still advance. Does that mean we have to evacuate the village anyhow? Probably. Or at least respond to when you are called. Um, what are you doing now, Bella? I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. I believe I made you a promise. I did that too. You mean about helping me leave? I... I wouldn't hold you to that. You've already done so much for us. You can do better than this place. What do you have in mind? I don't know. Oh my god, I got 50 silver to the children? How about 100 silver? At least you'd get out of Redcliffe. That's kind of you to offer, but I'd probably just end up broke somewhere else. Oh man. 100 silver. Why don't you come with me? Travel with you? That sounds very dangerous. I, I don't think a woman like me would do well in that sort of life. No, I appreciate I your so offer, either. but I don't think I can do that. Uh, fine. But that could get me to Denerim. What would you want in return for such a gift? I feel double bad for not giving children enough money. Your thanks is enough. Thank you. I... I can never repay this, but I'll think of a way. I swear. Maybe I'll see you in Denrim. All right. I just wish I gave the children more money. If it isn't the hero of the day, what can I get you? <laughs> Not cheese, apparently. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Guess not. <laughs> Recipes. Now that's nice. I'm gonna do that. And get a gazillion flasks, too. There we go. <laughs> okay, um... Sure. 50 flasks. That should hold me over, right? A bunch of Ulprits, too. That would actually help. Let's 
by all. Okay. Um, well, we are in a better spot than we were. So uh, let's head over and talk to Sir Perth. Ah, it is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Okay. Um, let's check if we can find a list of people who are supposed to be alive that I failed to protect. No. There is no quest history that I can look at. Okay. Well, let's go give him the bribe, I guess. Oh, wait. I wonder if anything changed in here. Still can't get in there. Hey, sir, nice. Knight. Move along, friend. I have a gift for you from the Magus Collective. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. A gift of silence. I have delivered. For better or for worse. With my luck, probably for worse. <laughs> um, I don't want to talk to you yet. I want to go to my camp. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Orle. Oh? Why? I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. Hunted? For what? I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her. And because I enjoyed what I did. How did she betray you? You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body. Sealed documents. You opened them, didn't My you? My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orle to other countries, Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. Isn't that what bards do? Some. But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orle. This was an unhappy surprise for me. My life as bard taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. What do you mean? I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. Mm. I believed her. I kept believing, up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand. To make me look the traitor. Oh, great. Wait, that's a good point. Who was they? The Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. How did you get out? The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something, at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. And so you came to Ferelden, to Lothering. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? 
And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. Nice little amendment in the end there. Thank you for trusting me with this. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Do you want to say anything Something else I can to me? help with? Nothing, never mind. Okay. Well. Oh, yes, we picked you up, didn't we? Here I am. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Tell me a little about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Don't you want to go back? <sighs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? Sand? I'm not from any glittering gem, no. No? That is too bad. If you were, then surely you would spend as much time boasting about it as I do. Hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. The leather? Now that is odd. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. Interesting. You sound like you've been away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in a store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? <laughs> Your home is still there, Zevran. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden? A woman who then spares my life. I could not. <laughs> oh my. Now you're flattering me. I say you are beautiful because it is true. Should I not? I... Don't know. <laughs> This is an awkward conversation. Um, by all means. And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Fair enough. Liliana approves of it too. Doggy! Your dog is filthy. I can smell him 50 yards off. No, <laughs> I'm sure you're exaggerating. That may be so, but all the same, I would like your permission to bathe him. Oh, no, that's nice. Bathe? Can't you just wave your staff and make him clean? You know that's not what we use magic for. Uh, just make him sleep over on the other side of the camp. With Alistair. With any luck, that will keep all the stench confined to one small area. Lovely. Doggy. Yes. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What else we got here? We haven't talked to Wynn yet. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you all right? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> no, you're a person. <laughs> a 
Let's pretend we are Sten. Ha, huh. very funny. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time, but there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Wow, that's a bit grim. Hey, don't say those things. We still need you. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Wow. Poof. All right, got a couple of emissaries. Uh, Stan, how's it going? Yes. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. <laughs> Nor should you be. Never mind. Very well. Let's go. As you wish. All right, Morrigan. I have the worst luck while talking to you. I have a thought. Oh. What's on your mind? We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of magi in such disarray, it occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the town ah. from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands. Oof. What do you want with this grimoire, exactly? Tis a book of spells, of the sort that Flemeth has dabbled with throughout her long life. Not the sort of thing that would benefit a mage such as yourself, perhaps, for you were taught a different path. I, however, was taught by my mother. I know a way around the wards my mother would have placed on such a tome. I know the language that she would have written it in. I would find such a tome most useful. Okay, as long as you're not taking it to your mother, I think we can talk about it. I think I already have the tome you're talking about. What is this? The grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable, but I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. How you had very my thanks. Fortunate. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Are you planning to return it to your mother? Return it? Indeed not. Good. This tome represents the one time any of my mother's secrets were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Perfect. I am quite okay with that. <laughs> oh, it's a quest, isn't it? Flemeth's grimoire. She seems quite eager to start studying it and Maker only knows what she'll learn from it. That's probably going to come back to bite me. But that's okay. All right, Alistair. Your desire is my command. I'd like to discuss something private. Oof. Well, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Let's just step away from the fire, okay? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the you want to exciting right now? Well, who am I to refuse? <laughs> Cute. Um. Your desire is my command. I'd like to discuss. Okay, I did see an option to go to uh, my tent. I don't know what to say about that. I kind of want to check it out well we're in camp now's as good a time as any to talk right how would you like to join me in my tent do i dare Whew. i don't know okay although he was so embarrassed about a kiss i don't know if we should all right let's take it easy on the poor guy you know, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Given the circumstances, things could have been so much worse. 
I'm so grateful that you're you instead of some other Grey Warden. Mm, that sounded <laughs> Me better too. in my head. I, I just mean to say that I've really come to care about you. I feel the same way. Now we just need to be rid of that pesky archdemon and everything will be back to normal, right? <laughs> All right, let's go back to business. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Ah, that's what I kept looking at. Okay. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. What? What's going on? Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Alone? What are you doing? We will need more of an explanation than that. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I'd I say... I need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. What Tigan, are you guys There doing? is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and haunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think... Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. I'm sorry, that same Connor? Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? Probably because she's just said so. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? But I do not understand what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. I see. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. So you're gonna sacrifice Ban Tegan then? Tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poison. He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He uh, may be lying, however. Uh -huh. I cannot say. No, I did hear about that. So why must Tegan go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. I don't like this. Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. But it'll just kill him. Enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless now you. Now what do we do? What good will that do? 
<sighs> this is a mistake. You're going to get yourself killed. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. Can I follow? I have no illusions Somehow. of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. I don't like where this is going. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm. What exactly am I supposed to do in here? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Don't believe that. I will rescue you all, I promise. I will try, at least. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. Incredibly. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess... Let's head over. Maybe we'll get there before they do. If all else fails, go for the eyes. That's a good advice. <laughs> all right. Oof. Redcliffe Castle basement. Sweet. Um, let's not forget important parts. Your wish? Liliana, song of courage, please. Or screech of courage, more so. All right. I did switch you back to your bow, didn't I? I did. Okay, good. Oh, goodness. As you desire. Okay. Maker. Maker indeed. Let's make this quick. All right, we're going. Let's see. Oh, is that That's pretty good. Oh no. Hello. Is there someone out there? Who, Who is it? By all that's holy, you! I can't believe it! What are you doing here? Did you do this whole thing? Oh my god. Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again, of all people. <laughs> I'd say. So, you're the mage lady Zold mentioned? You've spoken with her. Then, you know I... Poisoned Al Eamon. Yeah, I do. For all I know, he's already dead. Why did you do that? Yes, I know about that. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Al was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear. Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. The Chantry sent her away. I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily. She must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? That's the question, isn't it? Are you responsible for what's happened here? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. 
I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. How can I trust you after everything that you've done? Why did you listen to Terran Loghain of all people? Why wouldn't I? I was desperate and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? Haven't you heard? So Terran hired you to poison Arleman. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate. A mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Wow, that's crazy. Why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage, aside of the fact that he'll be taken away and locked in? Because he would be taken away, forever. A <laughs> yes. mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was... humiliating. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened? I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Oh, that's the word. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Arl Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son. And that infuriated her. I see. I think I understand. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. Yes, you are. What do you intend to do about I'm it? I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. Am I a fool? Trusting him for, what, the second, third time? I helped you once in the name of friendship. And I betrayed you. And Lily. I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage. I... I find it difficult to trust his words. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. Apparently I don't know him at all. Based on what happened in the tower. Oh well. So how will you make things right? I... Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed, or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. I don't know if I trust you. That's commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. Yet again, another thing that's probably going to come back to bite me. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me. 
That's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. <laughs> uh, then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Where did I find the key? Alistair disapproves. Yeah, I mean, I expected that much. All right, so we created another apostate. Apostate? Do they all open? Oh, I guess so. Quite freely. All right, where did we come from? From back. All right. Let's head over. Pile of filth. That's lovely. Do you hear that? As you desire. Rolled up note. Okay. I hope whoever find this can read it. I hate the thought of my last words might be used as kindling or maker forbid to wipe someone's bum. But that's happenstance for you. I suppose. My name is Brandon. I was born in Rainsphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Arlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house, too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here, and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing has changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land. And I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rainsphere. There is nothing living rem remnant. There's no living remnant of us left there. But you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you they'll hear it. That is tragic. Is that you, Brandon? Oh, whoa, 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 okay. And so I shall. That is not Brandon. Okay. I do decent damage. I am actually happy about that. Is there more? Oh yeah. They are busy killing them while we are doing nothing. Well, we were. Thank you guys. And the greater lyrium potion. How lovely. Okay. Oh, oh yes, okay. Yeah, please. Back to the castle? Or up to the castle? I see the light. That's probably good. I'm scared. Big room. Lovely. Oh god, okay. We must strike. Quickly. Oh 
Oh my goodness, there's so many of you. Alright, let's take a break. And check out what we got going here. Can we do a dog? A howl. You are probably doing just fine as you are, honestly. Uh, as for you... Where are you standing? Do you think you could... Maybe Liliana can move a little. Maybe to the back? To here? And I am busy attacking this shambling corpse. I think that's fine. We are okay. That's good. <laughs> Thank you for the healing. Irving bots. told oh. me about how you became a Grey Warden and that unpleasant incident that occurred prior to your departure from the circle. I would say. You're talking about Jowen? None other. I respect the decision you made and the way you handled it. And it did not seem to affect Duncan's desire to recruit you. But that aside, you're a Grey Warden now, and perhaps I presume too much by saying this, but the Circle is proud of you. I wonder what Irving saw in me that made him recommend me. Do not squander this time trying to explain why Irving picked you. Accept it, and be the Grey Warden you're supposed to be. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. It will be all right, huh? That's a great thought. All right, well. I aggroed everything I possibly could in this room, so that's awesome. And so I shall. History of the Chantry. Okay. I still have not read everything that I've picked up in the last episode, and I really, really should. So, I will make sure to take care of that. Oh, hello. Alright. Where are you, lady? You are right here. What do I do with you? I suppose, why not? Oh go, you can howl again. That actually was really helpful. It always always is. Ready. Enough! No, my Put them back! Nice. Okay, we are good, and Liliana is leveled up. Let's take care of that. All right, I need 22 cunning, I believe, but let's check, just in case. Wait, you can steal during combat? That's crazy. Okay, that's right. So, I need a 22 cunning, which makes sense. I need to put more constitution into you. And maybe another cunning? Do I need more than that? I probably need to check. But also dexterity wouldn't be so bad. Oh, you know what? No, let's go with constitution. And do... Combat training for you. And... Finally... The last lock picking. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now I get to return all of my lyrium potions. <laughs> Thank you for the Alfred, by the way. All right. Lovely. 
I could do that for you. Well, isn't this perfect? <laughs> no surprises, please. Ah! Here I am. I need to change that. Give me one second, okay? All right, we're good. She's going to re-sing it. That is a lot of stuff. Lovely. Cool. Oh, I missed this. Fire arrow. Perfect. I have them equipped for Liliana, don't I? I do not. That is not Liliana. <laughs> Let's see. Fire arrow, why not? Let's do it. Can't hurt. There she goes. All right, now we can proceed. It's nice and cozy. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, dog. Let's start with your usual. Alistair and myself are going to do that. You are fine. Let's yeah. focus fire. Be careful! Skull. Nice. And so I shall. Give me more of that. Sweet. You know, I can hear the barks in game that uh Puddle Bear is making, and it makes me think and makes me want to check on my own dog because his barks are kind of similar sounding, not gonna lie. Right ahead. Let's, Let's make this quick. Can I do that? I think I accidentally turned off. All right, Liliana. How about we go and investigate some traps? Does that sound good? Or just investigate. It's done. What what are you guys what were you guys doing in here? <laughs> Alright, where did we see the trap? Oh god. Let's come by Oh, this trap. Got it. Ah! <laughs> You don't want to attack your brethren. Oh, I see. All right, now this is the trap. I did not as you wish disarm it at all, did I now? There's a lot of them. Oh god. Let's help Liliana. The poor lady. Cool. 
Okay, maybe this is where I get all of the corpse skulls that I need. Also, there was a Mabari something in the other place that I need to check out. Lovely. Thank you for all the galls. All right. <laughs> Enough. Doggo. Right then. There you go. I suppose violence is I need healing. These Mabaris are kind of tough. Maybe I can also take one. You should run while you can. <laughs> I think we work well together. Of course. I did not expect them to be as strong as they are. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay, so the kennels well, is where right. I'm at right now. Oh, wow. And a corpse. Somehow. All right, let's head out. Okay, traps here. More doors. Wait, where does that go? Second floor. Basement. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Already been to one of the basements. Oh god! You can open doors? Are you serious? Alright, what can I do for you? Shambling corpse. I need some other skill for her. So I can probably do that right now. I'm Ready! Here. That did nothing. Let's grab some glory! Go go! I never liked this one! Wow, so many level ups. Goody. We are leveling up like crazy. Aw. Where are my corpse skulls? <laughs> There's one. Oh, Ducky. What? He does? Oh. Okay. You are still a good boy. Don't worry about it. Well, all right. Ooh, level ups. So many. All right, when now you put this on for all of us. Did that work? Is my dog on fire? That's good. I like this a lot. All right, so uh, this would be a way to move forward. And I have, I think, one last room to check out in this previous location. Or oh, two rooms, actually. Oh, God damn it. Never mind. I was too hasty. This is going well. It did go well, actually. I am quite happy. Lovely. What do we got? And the deep mushroom. All right. Well, all right. Oh, hello, Valena. I did not think I would find you so ah! soon. Please, don't hurt me. I'm not gonna. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. She. All right. What happened to everyone? Okay, so it didn't kill everyone. That's good. 
I was hoping to ask you the same question. I don't know what happened. There was some talk the Arl was poisoned, but that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. I, I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. Are you Owen's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Well, I cleared the way. There is a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. And everyone along the way is dead. Hopefully. But, but the monsters! I've killed most of them. It's safe. I've killed everyone. I'm pretty sure. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Fingers crossed you survive. All right, good. We can move. Well, I'm glad I came back to this corridor. Also, what is this? Oh, this is the way upstairs. Okay. In a courtyard. Oh my god. This place is enormous. Oh, kitchen. <laughs> kitchen always makes me unreasonably excited. You guys may not know this, but I love cooking. Quartz. Okay. So this is the basement. Lovely. And I kind of feel like I should check it out. As you All right. It bums me out that... Oh, this is going to the courtyard now. Ah, huh, maybe I should not have checked it out. Yeesh. Maybe second floor would be a better option. It bums me out that I need to wait for Miasma to... To recharge, I guess, every time I travel to a new place before I can put it on again. You know what I mean? So much loots. Lovely. Oh, another love letter. Hmm. What do you know? <laughs> Allow me. Oh yes, I yes, could yes. Do that for you. Please. I can, and you Marvelous. will. Marvelous. All right, so this is to the courtyard, but I don't know if I should go there. I think I should go back because there's the second floor. Now I need to wait for Miasma again. Let's see. That's probably going to bite me again. Oh, can you unlock this? No. Ah, uh, all right. I made a mistake. It's time for the courtyard. There was no other way to go anywhere, was there? No. Good. Well, I guess good thing I didn't wait. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going. Area unlocked. Redcliffe Castle. Alright, the gate is obviously closed. Should I open it? I wonder if I should. Alright guys, I am going to end this here. This is a huge level and I am so excited. I thought it was going to be a quite a short encounter to be honest with you guys. So seeing that this is a multiple stage with a key required kind of situation is so so exciting for me. Um, I can't wait to see what else is in the castle. I am happy that we found 
blacksmith's daughter. I don't know if she's gonna make it out. I did. I'm fairly certain I killed everyone, so she should not have an issue getting out of there. And hopefully the secret passage opens from the backside without the sigil, because she obviously doesn't have it. So, anyway, I was quite surprised to find Jowen as the person of interest that um, was mentioned before from the blacksmith and his daughter. Um, don't know what to say. I feel like I probably made the mistake of letting him go. I feel like that guy just can't help himself but get in trouble and get everyone else around him in trouble. And it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. So I don't know if I'm going to see him for the third time, but if I do and he's in trouble again, I don't think he's getting another chance that there's been enough of them already and he's still not getting better, if that makes sense. And I'm not the person to judge for sure because I'm making plenty of bad decisions, but at least I haven't poisoned any Arls yet. We'll see how the game develops. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.